and welcome back to the crochet crowd this is the double butterfly scarf and this is an amazing scarf and the free pattern is available on my website at the crochetcrowd.com simply just come to my website go to the free patterns up at the top click that and just look for this in the scarf section of my free patterns so everything that's in this video will be written out just like so you can see more pictures there as well as that I created a crochet diagram for those that know how to follow diagrams so you get a really good indication on how this project is working. So let's uh, get started and go through some of the materials first. So here are the butterfly scarves that we've created and these two are the original that we did. I remember that this one was a scarf within a scarf. We actually had another scarf being fed through the slots. I also did it with this as well. But you can see even without the scarf it still looks amazing. So as Daniel was commenting, what happens if you have two butterflies working together in one scarf and this is the double butterfly so you end up with two butterflies on both sides of the center point. It actually to me, I would actually call this the bow tie scarf because it looks like a big bow tie right in the center. So in this uh, project I was using, this is the double butterfly, I was using a boutique treasure and it's an amazing uh, yarn really. It's a partial wool and acrylic together. My scarf is seven feet long so you'll need a ball and a half of this but you can substitute any of the yarns that you see obviously within my tutorials. I'm also using a size J hook, a 6.0 millimeter but for tutorial reasons and keeping it very easy to see on camera I'm going to be using the Red Heart with Love and that'll just be a quick project. So if you can a substitute with this with Super Saver, uh, Bernat Super Value, and etc. So now let's get started and go through this process. So to begin, let's create a slip knot, and there are slower tutorials available on my website, thecrochetcrowd.com, or this YouTube channel, in order to follow along. So we're just going to create a slip knot just like so, and I want you to chain 26. Remember that this never counts as one. So one, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, and twenty-six. So there's our starting chain and this is approximately how wide the scarf will be. It's a nice generous uh, width and let's move along to your next step. Okay, so here's where we are and we're now ready to move on to continue row number one and it's telling you to double crochet the fifth from the hook. So let's count back. So one, so this doesn't count as one, so one, two, three, four, and five. And that's where we're going to put in our first double crochet. And essentially this whole entire row is that we're just going to double crochet ourselves all the way back into the chain going across. For those that need a quick a reminder and double crochet, it's wrap going through the chain, okay, and pull through, pull through two and two. And I want you to double crochet all the way back. You will know if you're right or not because you will end up with 23 posts going all the way across. So one, two, three, four, five, as you can see, you should have a total of 23 of these by the time that you get back on the other side. We're now going to begin row number two and it's very simple. We're simply just going to chain up three. So one, two, and three. And in the rules of uh, crochet, a chaining of three equals a double crochet. So the posts have to equal over top of each other. The first two stitches that we're going to run into are going to be a double crochet and the first one is right there. Okay, so here's the secret to starting the butterfly. I simply just want you to chain seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And now I want you to skip seven stitches on here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Go to the eighth and I want you to just, I'm just pinching down on the top to make it easier to hold and I'm just going to double crochet into that. And I'm going to double crochet two more times. So here's your center point of your scarf. So you can see just that chaining across like that you've just created all those stitch work that is going to be the butterfly that is actually very easy to do. So now I just want you to chain seven again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So here's the thing. You can either count over and skip your stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so you would go in on the 8th, 9, and 10, or you can just look back and say, okay, this is the last one. I need three double crochets on the three last ones, so one, two, and three. So you can just count backward. Therefore, if you kind of missed a stitch in the very first one, you don't really need to worry about it too much, but 
that's just one of those cheating techniques and we're just double crocheting ourselves in the final three so either way you end up with the scarf that's going to look like this so far so now let's move up to row number three in row number three we simply just have to turn our work and we're just going to do exactly what we just did but here's the secret now so we're just going to chain up three so one two and three and we are just going to double crochet into the remaining two stitches that you can see here so that chaining of three counts as one double crochet so you have three basically double crochets on the edge three in the middle just like so and then three on the other side so now we're going to chain seven so one two three four four five six and seven and who cares about counting just look for the first three stitches that you see which is right in the middle I'm just pinching down if you don't pinch down what happens see how the chain revolves around so if you pinch down that doesn't happen so you're just gonna double crochet to where the others are double crocheted right in the center so there's three of them so just match it over top of each other and now I want you to chain seven again so one two three four five six and seven okay don't bother to count anymore just the last three stitches and double crochet are going to get double crochets so just put them in and that concludes and that was row number three just like so so now I want you to turn your work and now let's move up to row number four again row number four is exactly what we're already doing so one two and three three uh, two more double crochets in so just one in each here to match and now chain seven one two three four five six and seven okay the middle three are going to get a double crochet so don't bother to count over you don't need to just double crochet right in the center don't you love easy projects like this the less counting the better for me honey that's what I'm telling you so one double crochet into each and then let's do our seven so one two three four five six and seven okay going into the very the final three for double crochet okay so this is row number four so now you have three lines underneath and now the fourth is when we attach everything together so this is the very simple process so basically every time you end up with three of these to group together you know that the very next one is the one that's going to group it to make the butterfly so now let's move up to row number five In row number five we're simply just going to turn our work and we're going to start off the very same way again one two and three three chains the first two are going to get a double crochet one into each so you end up with the edging that's the same so my magic counting of seven actually works out really amazing so watch this you're going to only chain three so one two, two and three and i want you to just to kind of group these together the three chains underneath just put your uh, hook underneath grab the yarn from the other side and pull forward and I just want you to pull it right through that loop that you had and then one two and three so when you had a total of count of seven if you think about it three was right in the center point right so now we're going to double crochet into the very middle section where you were already double crocheting before so now things changed there and we're just doing one in each that's always going to remain the same and now we have the group of three on this side so here we go again so one two and three we're slip stitching everything together so you can just kind of group it bring the hook underneath grab the yarn and then pull it through that same loop that's a slip stitch and then one two and three you're on the edge again the edge is always going to be the same throughout this project with three double crochets finalizing it So essentially that is as hard as it gets you just go back and forth doing the butterfly and basically let's move up to row number um, I'm actually in the instructions that says row number two and the reason for that is that you're just basically repeating rows number two all the way to five as many times as you need and every time that you create a section of two to five it creates a whole nother butterfly so to begin another row we just turn and chain up three and then two double crochets into the next 
or uh, into the next uh, two, one in each, I should say. And now we're back in between, so we don't have to do much. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We just immediately jump to the middle and we do our three double crochets in. So we're starting our next group of stitches. This is how easy this project is. So again, you're in the middle, going to the other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then we just come on the other side and just finalize the last three stitches for a double crochet into each. So you just have to continue this, uh, just like I just already showed you. So whenever you get back to row number five, so you just need three of these chains in a row, and then you do what we just did down here to bring them together, just like so. So when we come back, I'm going to show you how to finish off this scarf, because it's actually pretty easy as well. So this is uh, really an amazing project to work on, and let's uh, come right back, and I'm going to show you how to finish. So off camera I created another set of butterflies as you can see and now I want to show you how to cast this thing off. My original scarf was seven feet long as I mentioned. You can make the scarf as long as you want. We also have tutorials on how to tie scarves so if you're interested in that as well you can find it online. So if you go and look at the chart it says to chain up three. So the chart is indicating how to finish and we're just going to double crochet ourselves into the next two. So it's basically like we're doing rows number two again. So we're starting another row of butterflies, and we are essentially on this round. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we chain seven back in the center, and we're doing our center once again, three double crochets across, and back on the other side. So essentially what we're doing is that we're creating the foundation so that we can do the double crochet on the opposite side as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Coming back in. The three last ones. And so we're ready then to do our final round, our final row. So you can either have a choice when you do this. So let's turn our work and begin. So you have a choice. You can either go into the stitches or just go around the chain. It's up to you. So one, two, three, we're going to start off and we're going to put a double crochet in the next two, and just like we were before. So you have a choice. Whatever is easier for you, you do what works for you. You can simply put three, uh, seven double crochets around this whole chain and then three in the middle, or you can go into each stitch. Me, I'm lazy and it works. I'm just going to put uh, seven double crochets. I'm just going around the chain itself. So I'm not even bothering to go into a stitch. That was three. This is four. This is five. Six. And seven. So you can do that and then go in the center for three double crochets just like you have been all along. And then on the other side, we have another gap there. So we're just going to go in for seven double crochets around that chain. So you have to understand is that the last row that we just did, we cannot do what we're doing right now without that foundation in. So that's the whole purpose of it. So it was four. This is five, six, and seven. And you might notice that it's not stretching out properly because you're going around the chain. This will adjust afterward. And then come into the final three for one double crochet into each. And voila, you have created yourself the butterfly scarf. The advantage of this uh, pattern, pattern too is that you really can't tell what is top and what is bottom once you get this off your hook because basically it's the same on both sides, which is really quite amazing. So you just have to cut your yarn and weave in your ends as you normally would. Weave it in, grab your darning needle or your crochet hook and just weave it through the stitches just like so. You can do a quicker, better job off camera, or at least I can, <laughs> without that pressure of the camera being on. And basically you have yourself a new butterfly scarf. You're going to do that side. You're going to weave in the, the, the one that you had in the beginning as well. Back and forth. You don't want it to fall out. Just trim it out and voila, you now have your new butterfly scarf. So until next time, I'm Mikey from The Crochet Crowd. For more free patterns and ideas, please check out The Crochet Crowd.
www.ethanfieldcoaching.com. Until next time, we'll see you.